Hello and welcome to Teach My Kids Storytime. I'm Sunita and today I'm going to read you a story called Kipper's Monster, written by Mick Inkpen. Kipper and Tiger are going camping at the bottom of Big Hill. Tiger has a brand new torch and Kipper has a storybook. Hopefully there aren't any monsters around. We'll have to find out. Tiger had a brand new torch. It's the most powerful torch there is, he said to Kipper. He shone it at Big Owl. He shone it at Kipper. He shone it in Kipper's face. You should see it when it's dark, he said. It's really good when it's dark. He sat in Kipper's basket and pulled the blanket over his head. Come on, we can make it dark under here he said. Under the blanket was one of Kipper's storybooks. That's another thing, said Tiger. You can read under the bedclothes with a torch like this. Do you read your books under bed bedclothes like this? Kipper began to read. Deep in the middle of the dark, dark wood, there lived a horrible, horrendous, terrible, tremendous. That's it, shouted Tiger, jumping up. We'll camp in the woods tonight. It'll be really, really dark in the woods. Shall I bring my book? said Kipper. Do you think that's a good idea? Will they enjoy it? So they took the book and some biscuits and they put up their tent in the middle of the woods at the bottom of Big Hill. But as it began to get dark, Tiger began to think that perhaps it wasn't such a good idea after all. Come inside and have a biscuit, said Kipper. Do you want rabbit or big owl? Which one should he choose? But Tiger didn't reply. He was looking nervously out of the door. Do you think there are any bears in these woods? He whispered. No. Nah. I shouldn't think so, said Kipper. He began to read. Deep in the middle of the dark, dark wood, there lived a horrible... But Tiger wasn't ready. He asked Kipper to sit next to the door instead of him. And when Kipper tried again to read, Tiger got up and zipped the door shut altogether. Tiger's very scared. But the third time Kipper tried to read, from somewhere outside the tent, there came the most terrible, tremendous, horrible, horrendous screech. What do you think it is? Hmm. 
What was that? said Kipper. Tiger said nothing. Let's go and look, whispered Kipper. So they crept out of the tent and into the woods, shining Tiger's torch ahead of them. I don't think it came from somewhere near here, said Kipper. The torch beam lit up the enormous grey trunk of an old tree. There, in the middle, was a dark, dark hole. I wonder what's going to be in that dark, dark hole. Suddenly, a huge pair of yellow eyes blinked open and from the hull came the most terrible screech. Look at the eyes. They shrieked and ran, bumping into each other and sending the torch flying. They scrambled into the tent and lay there panting hard, listening. I think it was just an owl, whispered Kipper. Yes, it was just a silly old owl. Do you think it was the owl? But behind him, the shadow of something was growing on the wall of the tent. Something with horns. What do you think it could be? It's not the owl. It's a horrible, horrendous monster, squealed Tiger. The shape on the tent grew and grew until it was looming above them. Then it slowly changed into a shape that Kipper had seen before. What do you think it is? Do you know yet? Kipper crept back out of the tent and walked towards the torchlight. There, caught in the beam, was a little snail. Kipper picked up the torch and let the snail crawl onto his paw. He looked at the snail closely. Its horns curled in and out as he touched them. There's the snail. Did you guess it was a snail? I found the horrible, horrendous monster. Look, Tiger. Tiger peeked out from underneath the blanket. He saw the snail. He saw its shadow. He felt silly. Shall I read the story now? said Kipper. But Kipper never did get to read his story because they went home to Tiger's house where they put up the tent in Tiger's bedroom. And Tiger got to read it instead. There's Kipper and Tiger, and this time Tiger got to read the story to Kipper instead. Hope you enjoyed that story. If you like Kipper's books, there's lots more Kipper stories that you can have a go at reading yourself. So that was the story of Kipper's Monster. Look forward to seeing you again soon.